is paying for healthcare such a mess in America? And why is it so hard to fix? Cross-subsidies are a root cause of the problem. The government wants to help a group of people, so it forces businesses, doctors, hospitals, health insurers to undercharge those people. To make up the lost money, the government lets the businesses overcharge everybody else. But in order for this scheme to work, the government can't let health providers and insurers offer better or cheaper care to the people who are being overcharged. So the government has to enforce monopolies and stifle competition. Now, stifling competition in any market removes the pressure to innovate, to lower costs, to improve service. And soon, everybody, even the people getting the subsidy, pay more than they would in a competitive market. Now, the government wants to help the elderly and the poor to pay for health care. But lawmakers don't want to be seen taxing and spending, so they force doctors, hospitals, and insurers to pay it. Medicare and Medicaid programs pay hospitals and doctors less than the cost of treatment. The government mandates that hospitals provide emergency care to everyone, regardless of whether they pay. Healthcare providers make up the difference by overcharging people with private insurance or cash paying customers. In return, the government makes it hard or impossible to start new hospitals or insurance companies that cater to young, healthy, and cash paying customers. This is an old game. The federal government used to require the telephone companies provide landlines at low cost, especially to rural areas. So it forced a cross-subsidy from overpriced long-distance calls to the landlines. The government enforced telephone monopolies to keep new phone companies out and long-distance prices up. But when telephone service was deregulated, costs for everyone plummeted, and the quality of service grew enormously. Now we take cell phones for granted. Well, just like the phone company of the 1960s, continued reliance on cross-subsidies within the U.S. healthcare system will just lead to larger and larger costs and less and less efficiency. We talk about competition and transparency, forcing hospitals to disclose prices. But the government can't allow competition and transparency as long as it insists on funding care for some people by overcharging others. If we want to subsidize health care and insurance for the poor, elderly, and other groups, let's do it directly. Pay for it on budget. Raise the money for it honestly and forthrightly through taxes. Then the government can leave markets free to compete ruthlessly for the rest of our business. There's no fundamental reason that in order to help people in need, your and my health care and health insurance must be so thoroughly screwed up. Taxing and spending isn't good for the economy, but it's better than cross-subsidies. It allows most people's health care and insurance to be provided by an unfettered, competitive, and innovative market. It ensures voters can see where their money's going and decide if they want to be more or less generous and to who. Yeah, taxes are unpopular, but our health bills would go down far more than our taxes would go up, and the quality and efficiency of our health care would skyrocket.